So how do we approach this argument? How do we approach this topic in a way that is as honest as possible? Well, ultimately, we can't totally. I can't divorce myself. I'm Aaron Imholt from the Steel Toe Morning Show on Rockin' 101. And yes, right after the show today, in fact, I did hear some complaints from listeners that I cut the show 15 minutes short to go. I warned you. Cool. Because the younger people now, cool is going with the flow. Cool is now doing whatever the adult authority says and then doubling down on it. That's fucked up. It used to be that whatever they said, we went, who gives a shit? And we did whatever we wanted to do. This is my gun. I like to have it for home defense. It's a DP-12, double barrel, pump action repeater. Pump it once, you fire right barrel, left barrel, and then you pump it again. It repeats, it holds about 12 to 14 rounds, depending on what size shells you're using. And it's a great home defense tactical shotgun. Aaron, that looks like an alien gun. Why do you have it? I saw something today uh, online that really troubled me. It happened in my own backyard. And it has to do with an issue that as an entertainer and a comedian, and a guy who likes to consider himself an amateur thinker, uh, I find very unnerving. And that is the forced mob using bully tactics to censor expression. Yes, I put a really shitty sunblock up behind me because the light's getting through. I hope it holds up for this video. Number two, liberals, stop making me wear this fucking hat. I'm tired of it. I don't want to wear this fucking hat. I'm not voting for the guy. I don't fucking want him to be president. But fuck, every lie, every time you open your fucking mouth, I just go, you know what? Could be worse. We're gonna make your country great again. It's gonna be huge. We're gonna win so much you'll be tired of winning. What the fuck is this shit? Make America. That's not a policy statement. That's not a mission statement. That's just a bland, banal slogan. And this guy's supposed to be the outsider? This guy's supposed to be Mr. Not part of the normal political thing? All politicians do is come up with vague shit that's never going to get accomplished. Have to carry the station by myself, which isn't that much different than usual, I suppose. Oh, they're gonna be mad at that. Anyway, I have some decisions to make. I have to decide how the show will carry on without its producer. And quite frankly, I've come to some very difficult decisions. And the difficult decision I've come to is one of keeping your audience happy. If I start a business and I ask for investors and they decide to invest in me and we agree on them becoming 20, 30, 40% partners and we have a set of standards based on that investment, that's fine. That's voluntary trade. The government, however, especially with things like the income tax, puts a gun to your head, figuratively, sometimes literally. If you don't pay that income tax, men with guns show up at your house and take you away. This is your new superhero, Benton County Batman. For too long, you have let a tyrant and an evil man run your city. You've been in fear of a man who doesn't deserve your fear. And it's time for you to rise up behind a symbol. This symbol. Meanwhile, we're standing there waving at cars. This guy is yelling the N-word across the intersection. He's shouting the N-bomb across, just yelling at us. You end this, you end that, you cunt, you this, you that. Oh my God. The guy's certifiably insane. And I don't want to do a show where I'm emotional and I'm blubbery and I'm like, oh, I'm really pissed about this, but hey, let's make jokes about the news. Yeah. And you can kind of, like, I couldn't even talk normally after everything. I was so flustered getting up and everything. Even when I signed off, I couldn't speak in a normal tone. I did everything I could to get my voice back to normal. And I was like, you know what? It's just, it's not going to work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, I had to tap out, unfortunately. Oh, well. And, and I, it, you know. It wasn't a big yeah. deal. Yeah. April texted me. I let her know physically I was fine. I just, everything got to me. And uh, I had a difficult moment with the whole falling yeah. right as I got back to my desk. And it was just like, all right, I just, I can't do it today. 